to analytics with nax this is another video in the azure data factory where i'm going to talk about how to use the if or switch activities in the azure data factory pipeline if you have watched my previous videos or following the azure data factory playlist we have done a move or archive files i'm going to use the same content um, so that it will be aligned with what we are doing right now with this note let's begin what we are going to do today so we have uh, three files with uh, some naming and first thing is we're going to check the condition if this file contains product only that file we will move second is nothing but a switch statement what we are going to do we use some condition if the first part of the uh, file is customer we'll move it to customer folder and the second part i mean if we will extract the first four letters of the files and we will check whether if it's cust prod a current then we'll move it to respective folders this is using a switch statement the first one is using the if statement that is what we are going to see today this channel contains a free content that covers a power bi completely and also ms bi use this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's move to demo i am in data factory now and i have uh, this uh, pipeline where it will get the list of files and it will filter only the files and we will um, use the for each file to move it so now our uh, ultimate if you are not aware of this please watch my previous video how to build this now we will go for if condition so basically what we are going to do where we can apply the if condition let's try to understand this because this gets a list of files from the source system i mean my source uh, files resides over here let's see the source files here uh, i have uh, four files so this particular task will filter only the files okay then i have all the um, objects over here as files so i will get four results then for each file it is looping in this inside this i am copying and deleting the file this is what we do so if condition we are going to place inside this let's try to do that so if you see here this is my activity that if condition and i'm going to keep these two task inside this if condition true case okay first of all we'll try to write the if condition what is our condition what we are going to do as part of this we are going to do uh, check if the file name right contains product then only copy that product file that is the condition so we will write the expression here contains let's try to build it from here contains right and item dot name right and it contains a product then this will become a true right so if it is becomes a true what i need to do i need to i'm going to copy these two activities and paste it here that's it so i will delete outside activities because i'm going to in the for each for each file it will check the condition if the file name contains a product then only copy it okay so uh, earlier if you have seen all these files are uh, moved to process folder i have cleared it right now i don't have any other files here now uh, what we are going to do we will process all the four files but we will only move um, copy or move only the files that contains product in our case i want to move these two files as part of if condition right let's do that 
so these parameters are already defined so this is the location is nothing but my container and source directory is my source uh, directory that is a folder and destination location is my container okay that is destination container i don't have any directory right now i'm leaving it blank let's try to run there you go what happened is uh, it run four times that uh, it, it has written four uh, files right for each file so it has running four times and pipeline is successful now now let's go and check the process file I'll refresh see it has not moved other two files let's go and check in the process file you can see the file name contains a product only those two has been moved here so this is what the if condition will do it will check a condition only if that condition is successful then you will get the uh, respective activities whatever defined in the true condition it will perform and there is no activities defined in the false case so you are not it will not perform anything here this is what if condition will do and let's move on to our next scenario like why we need a switch statement so if we'll handle only two cases like either if it's true or false whereas i have a scenario like i get a list of files here and based on the file name prefix if it contain customer i need to move to another folder customer and if it contains from um, uh, product that is prod then i will move to product folder okay then in these cases how i need to design my pipeline let's try to check it out for this let me um, revamp this one so now we understand the if condition let's try to deactivate it i will go for switch condition now inside that far edge i will i will keep it aside let's try to use the switch condition so while watching this video i will do certain things here like um i am deactivating so that this condition will not execute i'm just using the other task activity here so switch now what is the switch condition again i need to write the con uh, expression here now in this case i need to extract the first four letters of the character okay for that i need to use a uh, substring substring of okay that substring of what is the uh, value item item dot name and my parameter is 0 comma 4 right so once you provide this what happens if this name right what is the name it will return some value that is either it can return cust or it can return um, what you call prod or it will return any other value whatever be the first four characters of the source file let's go and check in the for source file so it will return cust or it will return v2 sales something like that right so let me upload other two files as well here that is product files in the source so what we are going to use which is switches right this is my source file and in the process file i have created two folders here that is product as well as customer so if the file name contains prod it will move to product if the file name comes customer cust and it will move to customer folder that is our end objective that is what we are defining so i'm taking the first four uh, characters from the file name so 
from this source files this name contains cast it will move to customer folder if it contains prod it will move to product folder in my target so for that this is my first four characters now add a case if the case is cast then what i need to do if i need if the value is prod then what i need to do i can keep on adding this based on my different folders this is what i said if condition will do only either true or false if you see the switch case it will have multiple cases and based on the value switch based on this uh, value it returns it we can add keep on adding the activities here in my case i have only two cases custom prod i will remove this so what i going to perform let me go and copy uh, from these two activities so this is from if condition i'll keep it aside so here uh, in this switch case in the cust activity let's click on this and then paste it here and what importantly you need to do is in the copy source remains same and based on the condition you are going to sync so in the outside the far each and the um uh, switch activity itself the file name is filtered so here what i need to put is the destination location uh the directly directory will be uh, my customer i'm just hard coding here for time being so you can see uh the my destination over here is process customer right it is in small letter so just put customer as a target directory okay i'm just hard coding here and then go back and here what you need to do same thing just use the sync here use the product so once again coming back over here what are the different things we have done here so far so we get the list of files and filter we check whether it's a file only files or not then we'll pass into for each loop in the for each loop we have disabled this uh, if condition and we use the switch case here okay we are not going to do perform both we will do only switch here in order to understand this is already done let me delete it as well so switch we are checking the condition in the switch what is that we will getting the first four characters from the file name if it is cust then move the files in the customer folder if it contains prod the file name contains first four letters contain prod move it to the product folder so that is what we have designed here so let's go back and check the files once again there is no files right now in product as well as customer let's click on debug so these are the different use cases you can use this uh, there can be different uh, business scenarios you will end up in using this if and switch but you should understand the fundamental concept behind the scenes or uh, when to use if and when to use switch there is no thumb rule you should use switch only or you should use if based on your business scenarios whichever suits your needs you can use flexibly now everything is succeed let's go and check what happened now uh in the source files everything is cleared we had four files earlier and now what happened is in the product product folder is moved product i mean in the product folder product files are moved in the customer folder customer file is moved so this is what it happened now i hope you understand the purpose of uh, different activities uh, as part of azure data factory i have explained if and switch as part of this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and press the bell icon for notification
and do remember that data is your asset